good day. This is Thumbs United. And we have our Need for Speed Let's Play continue. I'm pretty much going to try to do all the street racing first. And then as after I finish that, then I'm going to go back and play as the police. And bust some street racers. So here we go, we have a duel. It's, it's me versus this Audi. I'm in the Lamborghini. And we got 9.5 miles to go. Is he an Audi? Yeah, he's an Audi. Okay. With these, I pretty much try not to pay much attention to the opponent. I just try to do the best driving I can do. Drifting around the corner, building up my nitros. I'm just going to try to uh, slipstream behind him a little bit. Oh, we got a beach turn. I'm not going to make it. I didn't make it. That would, that would end your day in the real world if that happened. I mean, just this little tap. And like, oh, I'd be so infuriated. If I actually had a Lamborghini in real life, spoiler alert, I don't. But um, if I did, it would be such a headache to drive. I'd be so concerned about, like, every little stra scratch I'd get on it or something. And you know I'd want to go fast all the time. There were uh, a couple of times when I've seen a Lamborghini and in real life on the road and it was funny because one of those times I was driving in Canada and I was on a road trip and we saw several Lamborghinis just flying down the road on the opposite side of the freeway and I said what you go from never seeing a Lamborghini in the wild and and I don't count like in parking lots and stuff but actually driving and it's like we, we saw three of them and they were all in Canada and I was like that's funny but then there was another time, and it wasn't a Lamborghini, it was a Ferrari, but I was working in L.A. And I had to go to the Home Depot, and the navigation took me into, like, the center of downtown L.A. And I was like, what? There's a Home Depot there? I, like, did not believe it. And sure enough, there was, but it, was, it wasn't, like, a full Home Depot. It was, it was a little smaller, and they didn't have everything I needed, so I ended up having to go to another one. But as I pulled out of this Home Depot in downtown LA, there was this Ferrari, and it was hilarious because the guy who was driving it, you know, couldn't drive it very well, and he was trying to go slow, but he just, I'm not sure what he was doing, but the engine did not sound happy with him. And so then he finally, the light finally turned red, I mean, turned green for him. And he took off like a bullet, and I was like, oh, of course you do. And it was funny because he cut off like three other people, and it was like, oh, you don't have to be a, don't have to be a butt in real life, but. So that's our first race. I won. Now we're going to start up our second one.
So we have 13 miles, 13.2 now. And uh, it's a hot pursuit race. And it's not even a challenge to finish these in first place. That's not really the issue. The issue is surviving to get to the end. So I always have to watch my health as I play through these games. I think you've seen on previous Let's Plays that I didn't even finish some of them because I ran out of health. And I think a police wing just hit ongoing traffic. I heard a siren. Fail. Now I'm failing. We don't want a real block. But anyway, going back to driving. Oh. It's funny, when you go different places, you really see there's a different driving style. And so, when I was driving in, uh, in LA, there, there were, you always had to watch out for, for Mercedes-Benz. Like any Mercedes Benz coming down the highway, you had to watch out for it because they would always try to cut you off. Always. And I don't know what it was about my luck about driving in LA, but I, I, I feel like all the Mercedes Benz there were like out to get me. It was like they didn't see what was going on or they cut, tried to cut off in front of you. And then they're like, oh yeah, you were going to let me in. But it's like... I, put, I have to put on the brake and let them in anyway. And so this is like, you could have just put on your blinker and not been so aggressive about it, but. And I mean, there were other cars you had to watch out for too. You had to watch out for, for some BMWs, but not so much. It was, it was just really weird. The people who were driving the Mercedes Benz were like, unusually aggressive toward, <laughs> toward me. I'm so lucky I missed that spike strip. Okay. I'm trying not to crash. But I'm clearly going the wrong way. Okay, I made it. That might have turned out to be a shortcut. That was more of a long cut. And I'm in first! What? What is this madness? I took a long detour through the beach. I got five miles to go. Yeah, I, I really think that the crash cutscenes are more sensitive for the roadblock. Because normally if I hit just the side of the car like that, I don't think it would do a death cutscene or whatever. Oh, that was head on. How much health do I have now? I have almost exactly half. Oh man, the cutscene saved me. It saved me from the spike strip. Oh, phew. Uh, now I'm at like 25%. Oh my goodness, success! And if you, you have to watch out for the spike strips because they do have kind of like an auto targeting where they will flow through you flow towards you and so you hit them and go through them you got one mile to go let's see if I can finish this oh my goodness I jammed it I'm 
doing pretty good. Okay, I'm in third. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Well, I think if I was less aggressive trying to bust all the cops towards the end, I would have gotten gold. But that's that. Well, thank you. This has been Thumbs United. We release twice a week game on Mondays and Fridays. And join us on Patreon at lcdproductions.com to see the Let's Plays early. <laughs>